Hey guys, we're finally at the build video for shipment number 10, and we have issues number 35, 36, 37, and 38. So, um, I did an unboxing and I went over everything in these um, issues. I went through the magazine with you guys, and up until this point, all of the videos that I made in regards to this build, I made a, I created a playlist for it, so you can check that out to get up to date on everything so far. So right now, we're going to start. We're going to go to issue number 35. And let's see. We're going to go to build. Let's see the build stage 35 build. These are the parts list. I had, like I said, already shown you guys. All right, so we got stage 35 assembly. And it looks like we're going to be involving the saucer pylon. So let me actually go ahead. I'm going to get all the parts out of the package. And we'll put them aside. And a package of screws. So that's issue 35. Put everything aside. Now we're going to be us using the dorsal hull. Now guys, um, I don't know if anyone else has been having this issue or if it's just me. The battery pack that goes underneath the battle bridge on this section of the ship that we've been working on, for some reason, it just is not making contact the whole battery compartment. Um, when I screw the lid on, it just it, and I activate the switch, it just doesn't want to stay on unless I push. That little extra push on there means that it's just not making contact. Now I have tried to adjust the spring length um, for the uh, the contacts, but it just doesn't want to stay on. And I can't tighten it anymore. I do not want to risk stripping it. You can see just slight, slightly more pressure and it goes on. I don't know if I'm the only one that has that issue. If any one of you guys had that issue and you were able to fix it, can you let me know? I'm going to see if I can contact customer support and see if they can um, provide some kind of, I don't know, explanation or give me a new part or at least let me order a new part. But this is the issue that I'm having. See, so you push down just a bit on the lid. Anyway, this is the section that we're going to be using. And you guys can see step A, we're going to actually install the switch. And that's just about all of what we're going to be doing so far in this. Take your battle section build and position the on-off switch on the right ventricle neck panel, 35E, as shown. Secure the switch with two BP screws. You should now be able to operate the switch through the slot panel. All right, so let's find the BP screws. These are the BM. Here are the BP screws. So we'll get a couple of these you can see right there and let's see does it have an on and off side preference I don't see it so all right let's we'll put the switch in you can see it's going to fit nicely right in you can see it fits better one way as opposed to the other. So that's probably the way that they want you to put it in. So let's try to get the screw in. And you don't want to over tighten it. But you can see the switch is now in place. Let's get these lights out of the way. And it's going to go in just like this. push on the thing. You can see when you activate the switch. And again, I'm having that issue. But the switch is now in place and we'll put all that once we get the, uh, the instructions to put in the other piece. You can see that looks, that looks pretty cool. Like the TV model. 
but again, I'm just having that little bit of an issue, just a bit of pressure that goes in the back for the leads to, to connect. But let's see how that goes. Okay, so now we got the switch in. So we'll put that aside for now. And looks like we're gonna move on. You can see where the impulse engine is gonna go, the starboard side impulse engine. So let's see, what are we gonna be doing next? We're gonna be using deck panels with windows and escape pods. And let's see. Let's see where the escape pods are going to go and the lights. So let's go ahead and get our tweezers ready. So we're going to need four of the dark room lights, the dark windows, and three of the room lights that are on. And of course, we'll be using all of the escape pods. So, we got the uh, windows aligned the way they do and the instructions to coincide with the filming version of the Enterprise. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get this part and you can see where the, uh, the impulse engine is sticking out. So we're done with these for now. So we'll Okay, so aside. for this part we're going to get these, the part that we made, let me show you guys, from stage 33 that has the impulse engine. You guys can see the impulse engine area. So what we're going to do is we're going to secure this to this and we're going to be using EM screws. So let's go and where are the EM? Here they are. So it looks like we need two of them. Moving on, now we retrieve the panel U303 from stage 34. Okay, so we retrieved the other section that we had, and this would be step uh, piece 34A, and the wire was 34G. Now we, I understand why we didn't put the wire through yet for the light. So what we're gonna do let me move this aside for now. We're going to take this and we're going to put it in the frame. Remember, we've got this so far. So, we go over to this side. Right over here where the instructions are saying that we're going to put it. And this is going to go right in over there. So, what's the next step? 
All right, so we did that. And now this is gonna go on the side of that. Four, five, six BM screws. All right. All right, so <clears throat> when we're finished, we get this part of the ship, and you can see where the impulse engines are gonna go. And you can see the underneath. It took a little bit of, <laughs> a little bit of patience. And you can see, we go on to my favorite part. Stage 35 is now complete. So we're gonna test the window lights. And that's always fun. So let's get the battery pack from our box. You can see the, let's put the lights out. You can see the lights. All right, moving on to stage 36. We complete the Cobra and we're on to stage 36. So let's get the stage 36 parts pack out. Or the issue 36. And let's see, we can see that this part right here looks like it's gonna be holding the lights. See, this is going to go in. And both of the remaining lights that are sticking out are going to go into the back of this. And this is going to go just like so. Okay, so once the lights are in, you can see they're not gonna go anywhere. They're kind of locked into place. You can see we've got stickers, and what we're gonna do is the sticker is to actually keep the, uh, the light from moving. So that's going to go right over here. Just like that. So it's to ensure that the light is not going to come free. And now we're ready to put the, uh, the piece. You can see where it's going to go. Now we're going to take the alignment lantern. Just seen that. That's over here. 
And you can see it's got a shorter end and a longer end. And it looks like the longer end is gonna go on top. Finally, you take the docking alignment light. And that's part 36G. Noting it's one sloped end. Slot this end of the piece into equally sloped round hole on the rear left corner of the battle section assembly. So let's look for that slope. I don't know if you guys can see that. Just like that. And now we're going to use looks like there's going to be three BM screws and two AP screws to hold it into place. So let's get the AP screws and the BM screws. Let's do the AP screws first because that's where the lantern is. And we've got AP. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see where the little, the lantern piece is going to come out and there's a little couple of little teeth that lock into place. So let's put in the AP screw in the back section. Let's see, another one on the other side of it. And we'll put them in loosely now and then we'll go around and we'll tighten all the screws up. And the rest are going to be one, two, three, and these are going to be BM screws. All right, let's, we'll go around and we'll tighten them up now. There. And you guys can see we've got the, the starboard side docking light and the port. So let's go ahead, we'll put the switch on. And again, I'm having a little issue with the, the thing. So we gotta push on it just a little bit. You can see, we've got the starboard side and we've got the port side. And we got the top. You can see the section that's going to have a switch in it. We'll put the switch off. So that's pretty cool so far. You can see where the photon torpedo launcher is going to be. So let's see what's next. We'll put this aside. And we'll move on to step C. Arrange seven clear windows, 36C, and six dark windows. So we're going to take another section of the hull. And that would be, I believe, this. So we can see that. So what we're going to do... Now you guys can see there are no um, there are no escape pods on this one, but there is a vent. see we have all the windows in and what we're going to do now 
because we got the backing for it. And we're going to put the lights in. You can see how they're going to go in. And they're going to be held in place with DM screws. So let's go ahead and get the DM screws ready. All right. You can see we got the lights in. And we have the windows. So we can move on. You can see the fun. The fun part is actually testing it out. So let's get the power pack back. You guys can see we got lights. So we know that this section works now. You can put the power pack aside. And let's see what's next. We're going to go on to stage 37. And you can see there's a bigger section of the primary hull. And we got more of the life pods, or escape pods, and windows. So let's put this aside for now. Actually, before I forget, we have the the little venting section and it's going to go in just like that and there's an adhesive on the back just like that and that's going to go right into the slot that's on the primary hull part. You can see that now we get the windows and we have the vent. You can see the section is all finished and ready to go in. I didn't want to forget that. Good thing I remembered that part. So now we can put this aside and we're gonna move on. Like I told you guys before, this part is plastic and for some reason, I think the metal is better because maybe it doesn't have as much of the static electricity that makes them kind of jump all over the place. But let's go ahead and we'll use the escape pods first. One, two, three, four, five. There's six of them. And there's six of them on here. So we'll take them off the tree and then I'm going to trim them up. All right, so that's done. So what we're gonna do now is we have another section.
Alright, so we got that done. You can see all the windows and the escape pods are in place. And we're ready to move on to the next step. And I believe the next step is going to be putting it into the frame. So we're going to put it right on the side of the ones that we just did. We're going to use DP screws to hold see. it in place. All the windows are lit, looking good. And this is going to go, this is going to go on the other side. But we don't put that in quite yet. All right, so that's working. And that's always a good thing. So we'll put the power pack aside and now we'll put it into the uh, primary hull frame, just like that. And that's going to be held in place with two DP screws. So let's get the DP screws ready. All right, so let me show you guys how it looks. Let me tighten them. Oh, I don't really want to tighten them too much, so let's leave it like that. And then when we put the lights in, they're going to have us put this other section of light in at some point. And then we'll tighten it more. As you can see where it's going to go. It's going to go under the frame. So, you can see the way it's looking right now. And don't worry about that section not being completely flush because it's not totally tightened down yet. And there's going to be another section that's going to go here. So. You can see the way the saucer section is shaping up. Get that into the shot. Let me actually back it up for you guys. Yeah, that way there you can see a little wider angle. So we got those sections on. We got another section of the uh, outer part of the primary hull. So let's see what's next. Okay, now we're going on to stage 38, and you can see there are more of the escape pods and the windows. Now, stage 38, of course, is from issue 38. So let's get that section of the hull out. Beautiful Enterprise hull. the windows and the escape pods ready to go. Here are the windows, the escape pods, and we have the lights. Might as well just take everything out, right? There are some zip ties in there too. So that's 38. So let's get right into the, uh, the escape pods. So, 
Now we're going to take the light and we're going to do the same thing with this one. We're going to have the section go into one part but not the other. It's going to be held with BP screws. And now we're ready to test these out. You guys can see. They're working very nicely. And you get the extra light that's going to come around and go in the other section. So these are working. So let's move on to step B. You can see step B. Thread the deck panel lights through the saucer skeleton. You can see we're going to loop it around. All right, let's put that aside to not get it confused. So this is going to go through. It's going to go up and through here, just like that. And this light is going to loop back around underneath and it's going to go into this side. Okay, so you can see what we got so far. It's going out that way. Let's see the Looking pretty good. And you can see it from the underneath. So, we also have where the impulse engine is going to be. It's starting to. Alright, so. Let's see what's next. So, what we're going to do now is. We're going to hook them up and see. It looks like we plug the deck panel lights 38C into the saucer PCB board as shown. Do the same with deck panel lights from stage 37. All right, so it looks like this one is going in there, and this one. Now retrieve your deck panel U315 assembly from stage 29. So that's another section. Here's U3, U315. So we're going to do the same thing. We've got to snake it through and go on to the other side. So that's going to go right here. And it's going to be more DP screws that are going to hold it. So let's put it through. And we got to do the same thing with it. It's going to go through this. Make sure that's in securely. All right. And it's going to have DP. Yep. Show you guys the other side of that. So we're getting more onto the uh, the saucer section. You can see we got all we're these on to step F. Retrieve the right neck panel 37G supplied with your stage 37 parts. Then take the right neck front windows 3G. Carefully slot the piece into position and panel this complete stage 38. This issue comes with spare windows, dark spare windows and spare escape pod covers, just in case any of them become lost or damaged. And you can see, it looks like we have this. And let's see, they're going to go in. You can see how the the windows are going to fit right into place. 
that way. And I guess we're going to finish this section in the next shipment. Let's see. Yep. So that's it for the build section. So this is going to go on to the the uh, saucer hull. Uh, excuse me, the pylon, saucer pylon, or the dorsal hull. And no screws or anything. So. I guess in the next shipment we're going to get the other half of the windows that are going to fit in place and then we'll uh, attach it to the dorsal hull. Alright, so I didn't like there was a little area where you can see where the, the escape pods were. There was a little gap inside and they were kind of falling in um, and that was because the light wasn't uh, in place. You know these bulbs, they're square, and they go into a little slot, and there's a little pin that holds them in place, and if they're not perfectly aligned, um, there'll be a gap between the, the, uh, the deck plates. Anyway, I, um, I went ahead and I fixed it, and that's a little bit better now, so I just wanted to make sure that the escape uh, pods were even. So to show you guys, I'll give you guys a recap. You can see the section by the impulse engine on the starboard side. And we have, we put on three more plates in the front. So, that's uh, the conclusion. And this is shipment 10. So, I'm very much looking forward to shipment 11. So when that comes in, of course, I'll do an unboxing for you guys. And I'll show you what's in the, uh, in the kits and in the issues.